I wanted to do an updated, that was a loud clap. I wanted to do a updated, really natural, light um, makeup. I did this video a couple times, I think, since I've been doing YouTube and I know that a lot of you guys really like it because um, I think it just helps you figure out how you'd want to do like natural makeup on your eye shape if it's similar to mine. That's what I'm gonna do today. It has changed a bit, so, but not that much. <laughs> Also just gives me an excuse to film and get ready with me, you know? Okay, I'm gonna do my uh, base and I've been using this. This is the M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion. I use Gentle Light. It's, seriously, I'm gonna put my hair up. It's really, really good. Um, I just feel like whenever I use it, it makes my skin look really, really, really uniform and put together without looking like there's something on it, you know? It's also just a really lightweight, so it's not uncomfortable at all. Look how like nicely it blends in. All right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using the NYX Fill and Fluff like I always do. Oh my gosh, you guys. So a lot of you guys, on Instagram, I always show whatever drama or anime I'm watching. And I was watching Startup with my roommates. And I feel like a lot of people were like, oh, when I said this, but I didn't really like Startup. I think because I had a little bit higher expectation for the drama because it didn't really seem like... So when I go into dramas, I go into it with a mindset. So for example, I'm watching True Beauty right now, which I think is really good because I expect it to be extremely cheesy and very lovey-dovey and um, young love kind of thing, you know? So I expect those things from it and the style it delivers in is really really cute and funny so like i felt like i feel like it's unique even though it's so cheesy if that makes sense but for startup i was expecting it to be one of those dramas that kind of wasn't like other dramas i guess so for example this is kind of how i felt with because this is my first life i was watching it and it didn't really feel like another korean drama to me i felt like it was more mature, but still a Korean drama, if that makes sense. So anyways, I went in with that expectation that it would bring a new um, kind of taste or story of a Korean drama to the screen. And I was disappointed in it, I think. Um, I'm gonna use this, this is, sorry, uh, this is the Etude House Milky um, Palette Play Color Eyes. This one's in Banana Milk, so pretty. Like, look how pretty this is. <sighs> anyway, so I went into it with um, a high expectation, which maybe I shouldn't do with Korean, with dramas that I watch. I should just go in it with no expectations. But that's kind of hard to do, right? After you watch a trailer and stuff. I started watching it and I really, really liked it because I love the guy that plays Ji Pyong. Like after watching that, I realized the only reason I stuck around watching was because of him. And I think the reason I didn't like it was because I felt like they just they just didn't really develop Sodami's character or her sister at all. Or they did, but they didn't show it, and so it was just like very abrupt. So for example, like spoilers by the way. So for example, like her forgiving her mom felt like really abrupt because what her mom did was really messed up and just unrealistic almost like i'm sure it's unrealistic for her to have forgiven her so quickly even given her personality and that's another thing is like did they do that to all to further support her personality of almost being too perfect i would expect that from a korean drama like true beauty where the main character is like almost has no flaws you know like she's the underdog um and she's so nice and kind and she does everything in the upright way and that's like what i expect from true beauty and even in that sense she doesn't do everything in the most upright way but i feel like oh someone's cheering what's happening they almost made her too perfect and like it just made her character seem very unrelatable unbelievable <laughs> um and i didn't really like it i understand that her character is a bit is very passionate, a bit naive. Like I understand all of those qualities about her, but they didn't give her any flaws. I really liked her sister because I feel like they gave her flaws. Like you really don't like her until you kind of understand her. And I feel like they missed out on so much character growth that they could have given her. 
I feel like the drama had a lot of potential. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I feel like I'm just giving you <laughs> a review of a Korean drama, but I feel like they could have just done so much more with the female characters and they gave it all to the male characters. They gave Nam Do San so much growth and they gave Ji Pyong so much growth, but they didn't give the women that much, if that makes sense. They didn't cover their growth, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And to be honest, I don't feel like So Darmi grew at all. But anyway, so that's like kind of the reason I didn't really like the drama and I wasn't really into it. And I feel like a lot of people were like, why, why it's so good. And I do think it's a good drama. And I do think if you like Korean dramas, you'll really enjoy this one. I think I've just become really, really picky considering that I don't watch like regular TV anymore. I only watch Korean drama or anime. So I think my pickiness was very high. Also, sorry, I didn't say anything that I did. Um, so basically what I do with this palette is I just take this and I put it all over my eyes. I start with my fingers and then I go in with uh, this one on the outer corners of my eyes. Um, and that's literally all I did while I was talking. I was just going like this and then taking the darker color and going like this. And then I take a brown eyeliner. I'm using this ColourPop one. Um, this is in the shade Grande. You guys have seen me use this quite often as well. And I just do a small wing. Let me zoom you in. So I just do a small wing like this. For my eyeliner, I try and follow the line of my eye, like the shape of my eye already. And then I lift the wing up just a little bit. Um, I really like the way my wing looks when I do it like that. And then I just fill in the rest of my upper lash line. And then I take a brown liner. This is also from ColourPop. This is in the color Mr. Bing. And um, I just put it on my lower lash line right here. So you guys know, I usually put a little glitter in the inner corner. I've been using this. This is the Innisfree Twinkle Glitter on the corners and it does not move throughout the day, which I really, really like. And it's just really pretty. Can you guys see? But anyways, um, as I was saying before about Korean dramas, I hope that you guys don't like take my commentary so um, personally, like if you like the drama, because I do recognize that it is a good drama. I'm just really, really picky. And also, why, why does my opinion matter at all? <laughs> I just like to talk about stuff like this because I feel like I don't have a lot of friends that actually watch Korean drama as much as I do. So it's really nice to just talk to people about it. I know you guys really like watching, so it's fun to talk to you guys about it. I hope you don't like take it too personal or anything because my opinion is whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my mascara. So you guys have seen how I curl my lashes before. Um, so I'm just curling my lashes. And then I do the same thing. I take the PMEL lash base. This just really helps keep the mascara on my lashes and the curl to stay. And also I feel like it um, separates and darkens each lash really nicely. And on top of that, I'm gonna use this. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, I really like this because the wand is super thin. Um, and I feel like a lot of mascaras that come out, they always like have super thin thick wands and it just doesn't work on my eye shape at all because my eyelashes are so or I guess maybe I don't know how to explain it it's like I feel like my eye shape doesn't work and my eye shape plus my eyelashes don't work for these really thick wands uh, maybe they work well for people who have double eyelids and really big eyes but it does not work for me I'm just gonna do the other side really quick Okay, I'm gonna do contour. I'm gonna take this. This is Kevin Aquan um, contouring palette or something. This is in the shade medium. I will link everything down below, but I'm gonna take this flat brush and I just use it to do my nose a little bit. And then I also take it and I just do my jawline a little bit. Also, you guys, so we did a Q&A before Jimmy left and 
um maybe it's up by now i got a lot of questions from you guys about oh when is he gonna propose and blah 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 also i'm gonna take this highlighter from ColourPop and lunch money put it on my nose and a little right here but yeah so i got a lot of questions about that and usually like in the past whenever we've been asked about that wait did i forget something I forgot something. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put like a little bit of glitter right here. I love doing that. I'm gonna take this center color from the banana milk palette. I'm just gonna lightly put some right here. You can't even notice it really, but I like having glitter on my eyes. Anyway, so I got a lot of questions about getting proposed to and usually in the past i would have said like oh i don't feel like we're ready yet i don't feel like i'm ready yet also this is the 3c blush in rose beige i'm just gonna put it on my upper cheekbone and kind of blend it down so anyways i've always answered it like that ever since we kind of have been doing these little q a's on youtube but when i got the question this time i didn't really feel like that as much i'm not saying like i want to get married right now I'm just saying that I feel like maybe I feel like kind of ready to be proposed to but I didn't really answer that question very clearly in the video I feel like so but yes I do feel like I'm a little more ready I think he is too but I feel like we feel awkward like talking about that on camera but and I know I don't really have to tell you guys like this feeling or anything but I don't know it's kind of fun like sharing with you guys how I feel about stuff Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is lips. I have this. This is from Rare Beauty. Um, this is their lip matte lip cream in Brave. It's so pretty. Oh, but before that, I'm gonna do this. This is the lip cushion from M Cosmetics. This is in uh, what is it? Clear quartz. Uh, I like to use this to moisturize my lips before I put on a lip color. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished look. And I did like a heatless curl last night. Or this is day three, so like two nights ago. Ah, it's pretty easy, I feel like. Um, and it's like been my go-to kind of natural makeup look, so I've been liking it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I feel like I didn't actually really talk about that much because I was, just, this makeup look is really short and I was just rambling about startup for the first half. So, but I hope you guys like the video um, and I will, I promise this spring, I will tell you anime recs or K-drama recs. Actually tell me down below which ones you would like more. I don't really know if you guys like, if my audience is more of anime watcher or K-drama watcher. So. Um, I will do one of those this spring. Just, just let me know, because I know that we have very strong passion for each of those. I just don't know which one to do first, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope that this makeup look was fun, and if you try it, let me know, and I'll talk to you later.